Ever wondered how weird a festival can get? Welcome fellow explorers to the bizarre, the wacky, the downright hilarious world of unusual festivals. We're about to embark on a journey like no other, one that takes us around the globe to discover celebrations that are as outlandishly funny as they are surprisingly real. From mud slinging to fruit flinging, we've got it all. So buckle up folks, because it's about to get wild. Get ready to explore the craziest festivals you've never heard of. But what if you could play in the mud without anyone judging you? Welcome to the Mud Festival, a delightful romp where earthy goo isn't just tolerated, it's celebrated. It all started as a simple farming ritual, but now it's a full-blown, mud-splattered extravaganza. Imagine a sea of people all drenched in sludge, laughing, sliding, and wrestling, and it doesn't stop there. There are mud massages, mud sculptures, even mud fireworks. It's all a bit bonkers, isn't it? But that's the charm of it. The Mud Festival is a testament to the human spirit's ability to find joy in the messiest of circumstances. So, if you're up for an incredible mud bath, this festival is for you. Ever thought of oranges as ammunition? Well, in the picturesque town of Ivrea in Italy, that's exactly what happens during the annual Battle of Oranges. This carnival event steeped in history and tradition sees thousands of residents and tourists alike divided into nine combative teams. The mission? to throw oranges at each other, of course. Now you might be thinking, isn't that a waste of perfectly good fruit? But fear not, these are oranges that wouldn't make it to the supermarket shelves anyway. The rules of the battle are simple, yet hilariously peculiar. There's no ducking, no taking cover, and absolutely no mercy. And the best part? The joyous chaos that ensues is all in good fun, with laughter echoing through the narrow cobblestone streets. Despite the seemingly absurd premise, the Battle of Oranges is a cherished tradition that brings the community together, turning the town into a vibrant, citrus-scented battlefield. If food fights are your thing, then pack your bags for Italy. Fancy dodging fireballs for fun? Welcome to the Fireball Festival, a spectacle that's as amusing as it is thrilling. Picture this, a small town in El Salvador where once a year, the night sky lights up with the glow of handmade fireballs. This isn't just a game of fiery dodgeball, it's a tradition rooted deep in the community's history. The laughter and cheers fill the air, rivaling the crackle of the fireballs. The energy of the festival is contagious, with spectators often joining in the fiery fun, and you know what they say, the more the merrier. This festival is a testament to the human spirit, showing us that even playing with fire can be a community bonding experience. For all the adrenaline junkies out there, this fiery festival is a must visit. Ever attended a festival dedicated to a frozen dead guy? Welcome to the frozen dead guy days in Nederland, Colorado, where the absurd meets the hilarious in a celebration like no other. This quirky festival pays homage to a cryogenically frozen man, affectionately known as Grandpa Bredo. A yearly tradition since the late 90s, it has turned into a much-anticipated event that draws crowds from far and wide. From coffin races to frozen turkey bowling, the activities here are as unconventional as they come. But what truly sets this festival apart is the community's love for it. Their enthusiasm is contagious, creating an atmosphere of camaraderie and fun. It's not every day you find a community embracing the peculiar with such gusto. If you're up for a chillingly hilarious adventure, this frosty festival awaits you. Imagine the stories you'll have to tell, the laughs you'll share. So. Are you ready to experience the extraordinary charm of the frozen dead guy days?